Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. Six common grooming behaviors that every parent needs to know. Forming relationships. Perpetrators seek to form relationships with children. Testing boundaries. Perpetrators will try to test the boundaries of your child's comfort levels. Touching. Intimidating. Sharing sexually explicit material. Communicating secretly. Take our lead. One tool common to those who sexually abuse kids is grooming, manipulative behaviors that the abuser uses to gain access to a potential victim, coerce them to agree to the abuse, and reduce the risk of being caught. Grooming can take place online or in person. Make your mark, take our lead. Narcissists continue to gain control of the people in their life by eliciting difficult emotions. After going through a period of grooming someone for a close relationship, the narcissist moves on to use shock, awe, and guilt to maintain control, Tally explains. Make your mark, take our lead. Once the perpetrator begins to fill the child's needs, they may assume noticeably more importance in the child's life. Perpetrators utilize tactics such as gift giving, flattery, gifting money, and meeting other basic needs. Tactics may also include increased attention and affection towards the targeted child. Take our lead. Six stages of grooming. Targeting a victim. Traffickers target victims who have some noticeable vulnerability, emotional neediness, low self-esteem, or economic stress. Gaining trust and information. Gathering information about the victim is key. Filling a need. Isolation. Abuse begins. Maintain control. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.